Hello and welcome back to Mega Modded Stardew Valley Better Mix Seeds Edition. Today is the 15th day of fall, year one. So let's see what's going on in the farm. So I'm doing the village cleanup. We'll get to that a little bit later. We have some chores to do first. And I also need the Ridgeside minecarts. Let's see what we have for resources. Okay, not gonna need much copper right now. I need iron and gold. And coal. Lots of coal. I have this, but I thought I needed that for Fostoria, because that's a slate. Do I need that? Corey's request. So I need a slate, limestone, and a fairy stone. There's a limestone. That's a slate. I don't have the fairy stone. Unless I kept some idea. There's my line. Okay, so I can donate that. Because all I need is a fairy stone. I kept those here. In my battery's chest of all places. Hopefully I'll remember that. Um, let's see what we have in here. don't have anything to put in the preserves jar yet. And we have a visit from Jody. Hi Jen, that was quite a workout walking all the way up here. Anyway, I came by to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. You don't have to, but if you decide to come, could you please bring a largemouth bass with you? That's right, one of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one for the casserole I'm making. Okay, well, I'll be, it'll be at our house at around 7 p.m. tonight. Don't forget the largemouth bass. Bye. We've got Fluffy, Checker Mail. So from the Ferngill Florist Association, a new crafting recipe of a dryer. So I can use that on the flowers. And tomorrow is the Stardew Valley Fair. I have my watering can. Okay. I have coal. Tin iron. Do I have enough iron? I have iron. Okay, so I need gold. That's why I'm not processing that. Oh, let's go find Lady. There she is. And give them some water. And I'm real close to that level 9 farming. I wonder if a few flowers will make the difference here. It did. Okay. Tomorrow we'll be able to make our seed maker.
these take eight days. I can I have time to make these, okay. To grow some sunflowers. I'm not going to water them because I still have time. I don't see any birthdays. So our pantry in the fall. Oh, I need quality crops too. Room. I need. I'm surprised I don't have the foraging done. Did I just put them away and <laughs> not process? Would not be surprised. Let's see. No, I don't have enough yet. I have enough of these. Nuts. That won't be too bad, but I want to deposit these so I don't forget. Maybe we'll find some hazelnuts along the way. So here's Ian, hard at work. One down, one to go. Oh man, okay, I need to rest for a minute. Hey Jen, how's it going? Don't mind me, I'm just delivering some stuff. I'm taking a break at the moment though. The boxes? Oh, they're different kinds of goods and supplies for people. I gotta go to Richard, Gus, Pierre, Robin, and Lewis. It's gonna be a long day, but it's gotta be done and I'll get it done quick as I can. I promised to help Marnie today, too, and I have to get there before she closes. I hope I have enough time. Ian seems worried about how much he has to do, so I can either just say, well, good luck and leave him, or help. I think I'll help him deliver. You want to help? I'm okay, and I don't want to bother you. I know you're busy, too, but thanks. That's really nice of you. You really insist, huh? If it's really not a problem, I could use the help. Okay then, can you push this other cart? You good? Let's go. Onward. With both of us working together, we delivered everything really quickly. Ian made it to Marnie's in plenty of time. Thank you loads for helping me, Jen. You're a lifesaver. Okay, let's pop up here and see. Okay, there's a hazelnut. Me too. I got two. Okay. Let's see. Thirteen. I need two more. Just 
take a quick peek in here. Okay, so four more days. Should have some hazelnuts in there if I don't find any before we get there. Then I need to do a lot of farm cleanup, but I have to catch those fish. Let's see what our weekly quest is. So I can't do this one yet. So we will go for the ectoplasm. Ectoplasm was from ghosts. Okay. Let's pet Dusty while we're here. There he is. Give Dusty many pets. Hi Jen, are you going to set up a display for the fair tomorrow? Can't wait to see what Mega Farm has to show off. Yeah, I gotta look and see what I have too. Gonna have to go through my boxes, my chests, and see what's in there. Now, do I have a largemouth bass? It doesn't have to be done today. It's not timed so I can take my time but I do have one Let's go see about that ectoplasm. I think I will start on level 50. I think this is about where the ghost starts showing up. Yep, there's one. of glow. <laughs> Swap out that small one once I find something to replace it with. Oh. 
I think I need a lot of gems too. Yep. Because I'd like to get the mine carts, but <laughs> that's going to take a pretty long time. some of you have been asking for me to put um, a mod pack together. My work schedule has been really crazy and it's going to be for a little bit. I haven't had time to figure out how to use the software to create that mod pack at this time. Um, hopefully, <laughs> I don't know, it, work's going to be crazy for a little while. <clears throat> I'm hoping to record a little bit ahead of time so that it won't interfere with the um, the schedule I have created for this. So I'm going to pre-record. Not sure how far I will get, but I'm going to be gone a long time, <laughs> back and forth. So I apologize if I don't get back to the comments as well. Quite a few ghosts, no ectoplasm, but dust sprites are good. Gonna need that coal. Let's do a little bit of the fishing. Do I have any crab pots? Well, there's one. So I have enough of those to donate, and those, and those. Very good. Got to remember to drop those off. If I do a little bit of trash fishing per day, I can get this without it being too boring, I think because it's not fun to just sit and watch somebody fish constantly all day long. I can normally catch 100 pieces of trash in two days if that's all I do. I mean 120 actually is what I need. Tomorrow is the Stardew Valley Fair. So we are going to go do that. 
today is. <laughs> Maybe you should stay home today. I didn't do too bad finding ghosts. They just didn't drop what I needed. fish until about 10, then we'll go to the community center and drop off the pieces of trash that I have. Whoa, I don't think this is going to happen. <laughs> what is my fishing level? Ah, only 7. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that at fishing level 7. God, I was going to head back. All right, I need those, those, and those. Let's see. Shells. There we go. Okay. Let's go drop these off. There's three different um, bundles I need to go visit. give me a chance to see where I am on some of those others since I'll be there. I didn't see that when we walked through before. saving my resources. It takes so much to make them. But I think I did drop it down. So put that there. Okay. running out of time. That should be good though. Okay, 
finished a bundle. Very nice. And an apple sapling. Okay, let's go get that planted. And it opens up the vault. I won't have apples this season, but next year the apples will be ready. Okay, kitty, let me get in bed. There we go. <laughs> and the seed maker. Very excited about that. I think we'll make that. Get that set up over in Grandpa's shed. And start making some seeds. See what I got on the beach. Okay. Okay, I need fifteen. Okay. One short of those. Okay. Hey, Fluffy. some water. I guess the mod that adds additional pets keeps them kind of localized because um, Fluffy doesn't leave my porch. So from the Forest Association gave me a perfumery. We're going to have a lot of stuff to make. Have I sold those? I have. Okay. a seed maker. I need wood, coal, and a gold bar. I've been saving my coal. So, get a gold bar. Wood, just enough coal. Okay. I actually have a little bit left.
surprised I only have one lemon. I wonder where I'm keeping those. Must be somewhere else. Am I keeping them here? No. I do want to plant some of these. I've got one of those already. I just look at lots of wild well, plant one anyway. Okay. looking for what I want to put in my grange display. looking for things that are high value, different categories. If I had nine <laughs> of these, I could just do nine. Iridium quality. Actually, I can win with just nine of those. But let's try this um, with the variety, the way the game's intended. should do pretty well. We do a little bit of clean up here while we're waiting for the fair to start. check on my tree on my seeds here in a few minutes to see if I have any trees to go plant.
Let's go put these down and then we'll go to the fair. One more tree being made. There it is. Okay. And a hard event for Yuma. Oh, hello, Jen. I'm sorry, but I need to be leaving now. I have to go pick up my brother's medicine at the clinic. Oh, them? They're just playing. Why won't I join? Um, I mean, I have stuff to do, so, um, yeah, he, he's I'm really taking his brother. He cares so much for his brother. He's really helping out. I need to get going, Jen. I have to hurry back to my brother. So young to be a caregiver. So this is the fair. Let's see what she has to offer. I know I need the rare crow, so I need 800. And the star drop. And I can do the... So of these lists, I will try for... Looks like I need 3200 to get the star drop, the espresso, and the rare crow. I might not get the espresso, but we'll see. Started, and then we will go check out people's displays. <laughs> it's the big day, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a Grange display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you've set everything up so we can get to the judging. And I've already done it. Yes, let's do it. Okay. And let's talk to people. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud to be a part of. Robin really works hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. He's a little, I don't know, he should be more supportive. That was kind of like demoralizing. <laughs> I guess he just doesn't know how to speak to people. The fish Willie and Carmen displayed appear to have been healthy before they were caught. This reflects well on the water quality. I'd like to get a prize with my stars, but I don't want to waste money on any of the games. Look at these peasants running wild around horses. My equestrian skills aren't suitable for such an unkept steed. So I'll let the peasants have their fun. Yep, spoiled brat. I want to play the slingshot game. I only have enough for 50 tokens, but to ride turbo, I need 100. Let me ride him, let me ride him, let me ride him, let me ride him. <laughs> Sooner or later, Mr. Jarek will let me ride turbo for free. I think I'll close up after this kid. 
Kihi is scaring me. Who knows what he'll do if I don't let him ride turbo. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. It's so busy. I knew it would be, but it's still... This is a lot of people. Sorry. Give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, I feel that way, too. Where do Gus and Pika get all the beef for their hamburgers, anyway? It can't be from anyone in the valley. It's such a nice day for a fair and a drink, isn't it? Oops, excuse me. After seeing the animals around here, I wonder if I can design a good coop or barn. I'll think about it. Well, that'd be interesting. The fair tradition of deep frying anything and everything is so funny to me, but I can't deny that it's very tasty. I'm so happy to be working for a restaurant. I get free food privileges. Everybody tells me how good um, deep fried Oreos are, but to me, Oreos are already perfect. Why would you want to deep fry them, <laughs> you know? But hey, some people really like those. Hey Jen, help decide a tiebreaker. Whose spread is better this year, mine or Rogue Gus's here? Corinne and Faye wrote me into helping them serve customers today. I don't mind though, since I get to spend more time with the girls, but I didn't choose the right outfit for the occasion. I wonder when my when's my break. I've been planning on getting the high score at the slingshot game. Just you wait. Play? She. You see nothing. <laughs> um, okay. So he's hiding from people. Big Brother told me to buy some tokens, but I bought him some juice instead. He needs it more than me. Oh, hey, Jen. This is actually pretty fun. I came so Yuma would go, but I'm honestly enjoying myself. Earlier, Alex and I challenged each other through a strength game, and I won. Between you and me, though, it has less to do with strength and more to do with posture and ergonomics. Then I used the money I won to buy a new comic book. Isn't it cool? I'm glad that you're enjoying the festival, Jen. It was really all Mayor Lewis's hard work. I just helped with some of the wiring. Those milk and cheese displayed over there are going to rot in the sun and stink up this whole place. Bah, I'm just... I'll just stay away from those and drink in peace. I really want to check out the games and stalls everywhere. Well, after Lewis announces the display winner. I worked hard this year. I hope I win. Yeah, I don't think they actually participate, even though they set up really nice displays. My wife has been thinking of setting up a small stall, but we're not so sure what to sell. Any ideas, young one? Did you bring everything for your Grange display? Any chance you've got some pumpkins stashed away? Yep, I got one there. I've been learning a lot of business stuff from the many people around. It pays to learn more about the economics, see? Now, back to competition. Lenny and Lewis are doing a somewhat decent job with this fair. I'm surprised, but pleased. Now I just hope they keep this performance up for the following Valley events. I hope your display scores well, Jen. I'm sorry I can't stay and make conversation for as long as I'm on bodyguard duty. The madame isn't quite fond of pesky drunk strangers. My, what a fine showing. I dare say our little Valley does live up to its reputation. Lewis always says the judges should remain totally neutral, but nice work, Jen. It's surprising that I can focus despite the noise around me. What am I saying? I'm used to turning down distractions. So that must be it. We went here to stay away from all the crowds. I get a headache when there are too many people. Lorenzo isn't that adjusted to crowded places, another reason why we settled down here in the valley instead of Zuzu. Anyway, I have to list down our to-do list for tomorrow. Just because it's a holiday, it doesn't mean work stops tomorrow, right? 
Don't mind me, I'm just grabbing a quiet moment to myself. Irene told me about this awesome sounding dish. I'll ask for the recipe later, but first, do you think Alex would take me seriously if I challenged him to a strength game? I do know how to swing. I've been meaning to challenge him. I think she should. Are you ready to present your best produce? The competition is pretty tight this year. I wish you good luck. Yeah, there's a lot of good competition, especially up there in Ridgeside. I dared Sean to swim in the fountain in front of everyone here. Blair should just take one look at the fountain before insisting I jump in. Man, I only washed one set of clothes already today. <laughs> she better treat me with a lot of burgers later. So he's going to do it. Okay. So anybody else? These are all... Oh, okay. Glad I came up here. Did you know pumpkins are technically fruit gin? But you wouldn't put it in a fruit salad. Yuck. Hello, Jen. Good luck with your display today. Okay. That was fun. I guess it's already been announced. And Lily. Wow, I got a low score. I guess Mayor Lewis isn't much of a fish man. Oh, well. Well, I didn't win, but it was still satisfying to share all my hard work. I can't believe I lost. Does that mean we won? I think it does. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. I already beat all the games. Now what? I played the strength game too many times and now my arms feel like rubber. Have you been to the fortune teller? She set up her stand in the graveyard. Better hurry up, kid, before old Pam here fishes every last lunker out of the tent. Clint's blades get sharper every year. You know, I would have made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. <laughs> clown, impressed that I can juggle one ball at a time? Maybe if I get paid another 200 gold an hour, I would juggle two balls at this time, at a time with both hands. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I guess Mayor Lewis had to cut costs with a budget clown this year. <laughs> Are you enjoying the fair, sweetie? That clown is only juggling one ball. How odd. Well, you know, he makes a good point. Sometimes you got to pay a little bit. I won the last teddy bear from the prize booth. It only took a few hours of playing the slingshot game. I'll cherish it forever. I think the Adventures Guild should have their own Grange display. We would win for sure. At least, I think we would. I don't really know how the judging works. <laughs> Are you intending to get your fortune told, Jen? Oh, I've already had mine. Apparently my quest for a suitor shall be fulfilled before the year reaches its end. Robert and I have known each other for a long time. She is a remarkable diviner and a good friend. All right, let's get our fortune told. Ah, yes, I see you at the beach. There's some kind of event taking place. You walk up to Pori and say something funny. Hmm, seems like you two are good friends. Interesting. I see you and Philip working together on a farm. You seem very pleased about something. The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. <clears throat> ah, the crystal ball has gone down. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. <clears throat> Alright, let's go talk to Lewis and see how well we did. Oh, I didn't talk to Andy. Lewis barely took a gander at my Grange display. Typical. And he really did a good job. 
My babies did great. It must have been my new experimental fertilizer. Moo. <laughs> Ow, a hen pecked my little finger. And just a few steps over there, Gus is going up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. <laughs> right by the pigs. All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. I think petted would have been a good, better choice of words. These animals never judge people by their looks. That can't be st said for humans. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes animals judge you by your looks. Not in the same way, of course. Okay, first prize. 106. That's actually pretty good. You prize a thousand star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, and don't forget cleaning out your Grange display box. All right. Let's do this. Don't want to forget this stuff. And let's put it all away. I'm not very good at the slingshot game, but I'm going to play it just to show it. <laughs> I'm really not any good at this. Oh, okay. Eighty-two percent accuracy is not too bad for me. <laughs> As for other people, eighteen out of twenty-three successful shots, and only forty-four star tokens. Yeah, that's not many star tokens for that. Here you can buy them at fifty gold each. I don't think so. I will fish. Fishing to me is the easiest way to get them. Um, I know normally if you just gamble on the wheel for green on um, vanilla, you actually win rather quickly. You have a higher chance. But on Stardew Valley Expanded, it doesn't work the same. It seems to be 50-50, so I miss a lot. But we'll just do a little light fishing. I think I said I need 3,200. I have 1,000. I can stop at 28. Maybe I'll do that so I don't spend the remainder of a day fishing. See how many points I get, how many tokens from the fishing. On the fishing, you really want to get those perfect scores. That's where you get your money. And the slightest little slip up <laughs> will cost you some star tokens.
Now this does not increase your in-game fishing skill, but it is a good way to practice your own technique. So, oh, I missed that perfect. Hundred and forty six is a good score. Let's see what I get. So I scored three and ninety two for four hundred and sixty eight star tokens. So this is definitely my best method of making tokens. make anywhere from 350 to 500 tokens. I don't know if I've actually made 500, but I definitely get a lot of 400s. But you really want that perfection bonus. Now your in-game skill does affect this game, as you'll see in my bar. Um, it's not tiny like a brand new fisherman, but it's not as large as a 10 either. But it's good enough for this game. I don't know if I'm going to break 100. I got a lot of trash this round. That should put me over 100. Okay. Some people just barely cast their line and that works for them, but I get a much higher score if I cast the line out than if I just drop it at the shore. I know it takes, you know, just a split second longer, but it makes a difference. At least it seems to to me. Two more rounds of fishing will give me enough for the rare crow and the star drop, but not enough for the um, espresso. We'll probably gamble our extra tokens away and see if I can get enough for it. Oh, missed the perfect. 
can hear the little blip, that's how I know. Oops, wasted that cast. That was a time cost. Got trigger happy there. I flipped it. I lost the perfect. One more fish. If I hook it before I run out of time, I get to count it. I get to keep it. Got it. Okay. Okay, one more round of fishing. Then I'll go buy the two things that I really need. And then we'll try the wheel with whatever tokens I have left. a good score, but I didn't get much perfection. Yeah, very low perfection. I barely got enough for, <laughs> for the things I need. But I'll have 56 to gamble with. Let's go buy this stuff. Trade our tokens in for the Rare Crow and the Star Drop. So I have 56. Let's do green for um, 19, 20. Okay. Let's do green for. Oh, 66. Okay. Just playing around with it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you know, I talked about my luck on this and uh, seems to be okay. Let's try green one more time for 22. I'm thinking I'm going to lose this one. Oh, got it. Alright, I'm going to switch to orange. I just choose a number with my keyboard, whatever <laughs> works. I can't believe this, it's green all the time. That is not my normal look. I don't know what I chose. I think I chose green. I did. Is it really gonna make a fibber out of me? Because I have not had luck with this before, but I guess because I don't need them. Ooh, bet a hundred, lose it. Yeah. Oh, well, let's do green again for uh, 33. It's still running better than 75% green. That's not my normal luck on this. I don't know what my luck is today. Maybe that plays into it. spins fast, I think it goes orange. Let's see if that part's true. No? Green is holding strong. <laughs> Maybe it's the number 100 that messes it up. Let's just that. Let's go orange. 100. Okay, let's do that again. Because maybe that's where my luck changes. Try orange again for 100. Nope, not that time. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. I'm not going to keep spinning the wheel all night. It'll take me forever. Let's get some dried sunflowers. They're pretty. And we will go ahead and call it a day. Leave the fair. Um, do I have any more trees? I do have another tree. Okay. There. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode in the Stardew Valley Fair. And uh, y'all have a good day, and I will catch you next time. Take care. <laughs>